Are you a professional? <laughs> Are you? That's it, Clark. Sure moves, boss. Oh, we're all in this together! Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the Clark Griswold YouTube channel, and if you are a first-timer, welcome. I'm happy to have you guys here, happy to have you guys learning and earning with myself and the rest of the Clark Griswold family and the Strat family. Okay guys, this is a learning video today. Uh, a couple days ago I said I had played this spy play here on this inside bar. I am going to go look at uh, 312s. I want to run through this one first real quick just because I said that I would in one of my Twitter posts. And this is a basically just an inside bar play that we had. Um, inside bar reversal to the downside. So we had this two up candle and then we had this inside bar candle and then we reversed. So it's a 212 reversal. And I just want to show you guys kind of what I was going through and what I was thinking when I was in this play and and why I didn't get out of it um, when I broke back um, through the trigger. So basically what we had, this is uh, this inside bar happened April 5th, 2022 at 9 a.m. Okay, so we're on the 15-minute chart. And then when the next candle opens, it opens here, breaks up, and we trend down, and we break through this trigger. So all this trigger is based off of is the low of this inside bar. If it would have broke the high of the inside bar, we could have up here, we could have taken that for a trade as well. Okay, but it broke to the downside and that's how we play inside bars. Okay, we either break the high or the low of that inside bar that's consolidating and then we take it to whichever side it breaks first. So in this case here, this candle was a two down. It broke through our trigger here at 454.41. And then we have these targets. I didn't put these on in green. Um, I can. So that would have been your first target where you could have taken some profits. Okay, and you probably would have been. I bought in at a buck sixteen. So here's that. That's what that dollar sixteen represents. A dollar and sixteen cents. Um, so 116 bucks per contract. Then we hit this first target, and there's this second target. Okay, so we come through the first target. And a lot of times, and it's because we have a lot of new new, new guys that uh, are playing the strat, and I, I don't want them to, to lose money. I always want you guys to take your profits. I didn't take mine here, or sorry, um, down here. We broke, we broke through this trigger, and we come down, and then we retraced back up. Okay, but we hadn't hit our target yet down here. So you'll hear a lot of stratters say you either are in the play till you hit your targets or you're out. Okay, so we hadn't hit our targets yet, and you don't have to play that way. I mean, guys, this, this from this point here, you probably, but it would have been from a buck sixteen, probably, you know, in the buck twenty-five some range in there. So you probably would have would have been at about eight percent. So if you want to take that eight percent, I I'll never tell you not to. It's 8% is 8% and you could do a couple of those and do three of them and you'd be at 25% on the day or just under. Okay, so what happened here was uh, we retraced and then we opened and we came back up. Now, I didn't come back above the top of this inside bar candle, so I was still in the trade. The other thing that I want to point out and not this is not a strat, hashtag the strat uh, strategy or or set up, but I like to follow this 9 EMA line sometimes. And basically, basically, if we stay below that 9 EMA, then that's telling me that the stock is going to continue downwards. As soon as we break the high, like we did here and close, that's telling me that we're going to go up. Okay, so on this outside bar, we broke and then we came back down. If we would have closed here, I would have been out of the trade. Okay realistically my my stop is is up here 
on the top of this inside candle. But if we would have closed above that 9 EMA, I would have been out. So it's it's one more tool. And not, I don't want to overwhelm you guys with using this. It's something you can add to your tool bag as you get more comfortable with the strat and more comfortable trading. This I told a, told a Twitter follower today, trading becomes simplified when you simplify trading, okay? And the, the strat is very simplified. We have triggers and we have targets and we have stop losses, okay? And that's it. And it's very simple, and there's there's not much more to it than that. Now, I've added this into my repertoire to use, and I used it here, okay? So we didn't close above that 9 EMA. I'm just telling you guys how my thought process is here. And then we came back down. And I, I did show this on Twitter um, April 5th. Here it is. Here's the original one. The 15-minute inside bar break on SPY is magnificent. In at a buck 16, out at a dollar 46 for 26%, and I have left runners on. Okay, so what happened here now? We break down again. So we hit first targets on this outside bar. We hit second targets on the next bar, and we hit third target. So this target. If we go back, it's just the preceding wicks, as I always tell you guys, right there. That's the magnitude, that's the pivot point, that's our target. So this is where I sold the majority of my contracts, okay? So that was my 26% gain. I sold the majority there. And I'm just going to spread this out for you guys. This line represents $1.40. So when we hit this target here, we were at $1.40. When we hit... this target here sorry this is a dollar 40 this is a dollar 46 this one's a buck 59 okay <coughs> excuse me so I sold the majority here I hit first targets second targets and yes it continued down but I sold the majority at two targets okay so this was 26% gain, and I'm okay with that. I'll take 26% all day long. Okay, and then I, I, I said I left a couple runners on. So what I did, this comes back up and still comes back down. And now my stop losses are moved down. Okay, and because in addition to this 9 EMA, I know I'm, I'm somewhat following that, especially now that I know... I've already made 26% and um, the majority of my plays are out. So I can follow this line a little bit more. So then what happened here? We continue to trend down. And I hit this line here. Uh, right here. Okay, so we, we trended down all the way to here. And that was our next target. But I ended up selling here. Okay, so for me... At that dollar seventy-three, that was uh, I don't even know what I think that's forty-four percent. At forty-four percent, I'm completely comfortable getting out of that trade and making fifty percent more than what I put into that trade. Okay, so that's the way we dealt with spy on that particular play. The purpose of this video now, and we're still on the fifteen-minute chart. The purpose of this video is to look at what I played here okay and you could have played this twice this is a 3-1 setup okay outside bar inside bar they're very rare patterns they don't happen very often there's obviously three in a row right here but it's not normal to have those okay so i really like to play them uh they they tend to make a lot of money okay so i didn't play the first one i had a lot of uh running around and a lot of errands to do this morning so I had some time, I checked in, we were currently here, but even here guys, this outside bar, inside bar, you could have taken this trade, I'm just going to draw, make this, well let's do this, and then we'll make one more. Okay, so this play right here, you could have got in. I didn't play this one. I wasn't around to see it, but I'm just looking at it now. You could have got in here. Okay, we came down. We retraced. 
but we didn't come back above this candle. And maybe that's your stop loss. If this is your stop loss here, you got stopped out. Mine would have been the top of this inside bar. Okay, so we come up and then we come back down. Okay, and then we open up here and we trend down. And what did we do? We hit first targets and then we retraced. So again, I, I'll always tell you guys, take your profits. And I, I know I don't always do it. Um, but if you wouldn't have done it here, you would have been out. Okay, you would have been stopped out. So you hit those first targets, take the majority of your money, or if you only have a few contracts, take all of your money. Even if it's 10%, take it and move on to the next play. Okay, so this, I didn't play this, but this would have been a winner for you guys. Then what do we have? We have this outside bar, and then we have an inside bar again. This is the trade that I took, okay? So I got into this trade at, I believe it was a buck 25. A dollar twenty-five, and I'm—I'll just adjust these lines here, right here. That's your new trigger, and I didn't even have a target here. Uh, right there. Where's the first one? There's your first one. Proceeding wick. Proceeding wick. What? What is going on here? Oh, that's what it is. So we'll make these green for you guys. Sorry about this. <laughs> There we go. Proceeding wicks. Okay, so on this trade, we entered here at this yellow line. I know it's confusing, there's a lot of lines on here. But we entered here on this yellow line. That's your $1.25 contract entry, so $125 per contract. Then we hit first targets, and then it keeps going. It trended up, then we hit second targets, third targets. Guys, it hit fourth target. I was out. I was out, okay? I got up a little higher than that because it kept climbing. But by the time I ended up selling this thing, it was at a buck 61. And we did trend higher. Yeah, I could have probably got a buck 70 something out of this, but I can't guess the top of this candle. Okay, so we hit one, two, three, four targets and a little bit more and I'm done. And a lot of times what will happen, guys, we'll hit these targets and it'll just retrace. Okay, and it, it happens all the time and there's lots of guys that have said, thank goodness I took my profits at that target or just before because it reversed on me. Okay, so this was a, I don't know what it was, 20 eight percent play I think okay and then there was another one right here exactly the same thing and again I didn't play this one I was back out of the house we had the trigger here and then we just take targets and that's it we do exactly what the candlesticks tell us to do okay and I play spy a lot it's very liquid it moves very fast I'm looking at it all day for plays Spy, Neo, AMD, QQQ, not as much, um, but uh, Apple is another one. So those are the those are the type of plays I'm looking at throughout the whole day, outside of that watch list in the first two hours. Okay, so again, triggered here, and we hit. I'm just getting erase these so we're not confused on this play now. We hit first target, second target, and we didn't get to the third target. And it started to reverse. So again, it depends how the candlesticks are moving. When when I played this one, this thing was moving high and fast. And I stayed in it, stayed in it, and then I was out. Okay, where where I thought I was comfortable with the money that I was making, okay? Um, and again, if you would have waited, 
you would have got stopped out. But you hit your target, so there should have been no reason for you guys to wait on this trade. Just like there would have been no reason for you guys to not make money on this trade. Okay, these three one these three ones are they're powerful guys. And if you look for them and you play them, these outside bar, inside bars, I promise you you will be successful on them. And it might not be every one, but you're probably and I, I don't know a percentage because I haven't back tested it. And I don't want to say 70%, but you could be 70%. Let's just go back. Here's another one. Let's see what this one did here. And again, I haven't seen this. I'm just going straight up to look at it, okay? So if we come into it, and it's another perfect example on the 15-minute chart. That's what we're on. Target or trigger here, and we hit the first target and a little bit more. And you could have been out for a nice gain on that one. And if we find, I don't know if we're going to, there's another one. So again, they don't happen that often. Here's one that um, we got into and it didn't hit targets. So again, if you didn't take profits and you came back down, you would have been stopped out. But that's one out of the last, you know, is it one out of five that we've looked at that lost? Here's another one. Okay, so now we're, we're five of six. We break this inside and we climb all the way up and hit targets. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's it, guys. It's it's that easy to trade spy. It's that easy to play these three one setups. They're powerful. And if you if you lose on one, don't be discouraged. Go look for the next play. Okay, your next player will be a winner. Or the next play. Hey, that's it for for this video, guys. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. I'd appreciate it. Um, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.